prisoner of the past Though I know that things don't last I'm going home But I don't know the way If I'm lucky I'll live halfway If I'm unlucky I only have today What kind of work is Hi everyone, welcome back for another Kingdom Turn, technically Kingdom Turn 2.5. Don't worry about it, we are going to try and sync it up, so we're going to try and get to a point where we start at a Kingdom Turn and we end at a Kingdom Turn. But time and also uh, player availability is what's been holding us back so far from doing that, but we're getting there. As a matter of fact, this is a wonderful start for today. All five of us are here for today. Hello, everyone. Hello. We're all here. We're all ready for a kingdom turn. And well, last session, we met Bird for the first time. This is still technically in the past where we are. However, just double check in with Lexi now. I think the intent is for Isabella to stay the warden. Yeah. Okay. Is that still cool or do you want to change that at some point? That's still cool. All right. Awesome. So Isabella, even going into the future, is going to remain on this sheet as she is still going to act as the warden. So Hi. when we last played a kingdom turn, we got through to the leadership phase of the Kingdom Turn activities. I believe the main goal of the party last time was trying to reduce an unrest score. It was about three or four, and you managed to knock it down to about one. And I believe that most of the player characters last time spent their Kingdom Turns trying to clear that stuff up. Now we're on to, uh, I believe it's the activity phase, the leadership phase. And I believe where we got to, it was essentially Dave's free leadership actions. Hold on a second. Let me just double check. Sign leadership roles. Yes. The activity phase, leadership activities. Dave, welcome back, friend. It's over to your free leadership activities what would you like to do um, an important note on that we made a note on the on on the ongoing stuff that uh Lexi had chosen to do the focused attention for dave's first leadership action all right so was that a plus one or a plus two Good. yes so we'll find that out but it's that plus two plus two awesome source all right dave Free activity, uh, free activity phase, leadership activities. What are you thinking? Then? Um, <clears throat> if we were doing that, I guess we didn't do any region stuff to claim new hexes. That's after leadership. Is it afterwards? Yeah. Those are region activities. Yes, that's next after this. Okay. I was wondering if we could establish some farmland. Um, yeah, because we really got to deal with the whole consumption problem. Yes, we don't have any food commodities. Um, all right. It is quite, quite complicated for the first few times. The first time wasn't so bad because we didn't actually really have anything to work with. It's still pretty much that, to be perfectly honest. You're starting to get a few more things you can do, but I think it's, I think at this stage of the game, I think it's literally the bare bones minimums and using your resource points to convert that into XP for the first few levels. Because if I remember right, isn't the resource points, aren't they like sort of like 120 XP per point? Something like that, yeah. So with that 11, you you would ding to level 2 after this round. But, yeah. Okay, so... 
In terms of things to spend RP on, be like improved lifestyle, I guess. All right, if you want to bring up improved lifestyle, we'll see what we can do about that. Politics check. We are actually trained in politics, so that might not be bad. All right. So, if you want to try and improve lifestyle, let's bring that up and let's see what it does. Oh. No, that's, that's no good. Gives a circumstance bonus to culture-based checks, which... I think that's the commerce phase, improved lifestyle. Yes, it is. You want the leadership phase, Dave, uh, or leadership tags. Yeah. In the top right-hand corner of the Kingdom activity, says six red boxes. Oh, Commerce, whatever. yeah, you can uh, sort the different activities by clicking on each of the one boxes. Subheadings. In which case, there isn't um, one of those. Uh, 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 on all the trade agreement stuff. Prognostication. Trade magic. Let's. We should purchase some commodities. I'm working on it. <laughs> nice. And commodities... Improve... I should have, I should have been looking things up on this. Yeah, you can spend RP to purchase commodities, but doing so is more expensive than gathering them or relying upon trade agreements. When you purchase commodities, select the commodity you wish to purchase. Food, lumber, luxuries, ore, or stone. Expend 8 RP if you're purchasing luxuries, or 4 RP if you're purchasing any other a cod, uh, a commodity. Then you attempt a basic DC-14 check, uh, trade check, you're untrained in trade. Yeah. I'm not supposed to pick three of these. I can't even pick one. <laughs> I think uh, it's hard, isn't it? I think it's, yep. I think it's because more options come later. Well, you also don't necessarily have to do all three. You have no. up to three, really. Well, I tell you what I probably do want to do, even though we're untrained. And it sounds like an Andon type thing. Um, provide care will reduce unrest um, and also sounds like something I kind of want to do. Yeah, you've also got that plus two. Uh, provide care is a defense check. Your defense is at a plus three, so this would still be a plus five. Yeah, I'm into that. Let's do one of those. All right, pop up. Provide care into the chat then, please, Dave. All right, oh. so... If you want to, there's that box. If you want to add a plus two circumstance bonus. And if you want to roll that defense check and we'll see how you do. Flipping heck. Um... I feel like I'm holding everybody up today. It's all right. It's math finder. Oh, uh, I can tell you ours were about the same speed whenever we did it. Yep. All That's right. How it works. It looks like that is a 20. A dirty oh. 20, but not dirty here. So that's a regular success. Your care soothes the worries and the fears of the populace. Reduce unrest by one. Your unrest is gone. All right. Wahoo. Now we've got to get us some food so we don't get it again. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, those are the other actions, aren't they? Keeps closing them for some reason. Maybe it's just the way that the 
she interacts with multiple ones of us looking at them at the same time. That, yeah, that's probably that's probably me because I'm also looking at them at the same time and uh, giving those who are joining us on the U of the tubes a uh, bird's eye view of what we're looking at. I think what I won't do is I think I won't open the subheadings here. I'll just wait until it pops into the chat on the side and just scroll up the list up and down. I don't think that would mess with it. Mm. So what is next? Maybe a purchase of maybe a purchase of commodities to get some food? Yeah. Possibly. Definitely expensive, but how much can yeah. we get out of it? I know we one, to uh, you can get one if you succeed, and then two if you critical? It's uh, two if you succeed, four if you get a crit, but you even okay. get one if you fail. Okay, yeah, because two yeah, would yeah. be enough, because our consumption is two right now, so that would cover our consumption. Be handy. Alright, let's give this a go then. All right. Maybe I should have saved the bonus for this, but we'll see. Okay, so hold on. I don't know, getting rid of that unrest is actually a pretty big deal too. It is. Yeah. So, food, lumber, expend 8 if you're purchasing luxuries, or 4 RP if you're purchasing any other commodity. So, that's well, you do have one fame point left in the pool as well after last time. So, uh, this will cost, I'll knock off the cost, this will cost 4 RP. So you're down to seven resource points. Not too bad from 11. You had a good resource roll this time around. So, uh, Andon, if you would like to roll us that trade check. Okie dokie, let's go. Ooh, okay, that nice. is an 18. Nice. You gain two commodities of your chosen type. I will smack that in. That was two food, correct? Yes, please. All right. So the people of Regrowth will not go hungry in the next kingdom turn. Good stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you have a third action you would like to employ here, Dave? Uh, 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 um. I'm going to try and make some. I'm going to try and make some luxuries. Okay, you want to try and cross some luxuries? Let's pop that into the game chat and let's have a look at it. Oh, wait, that cost a resource die. Yeah. Oh, and we suck at it as well. No, I changed my mind. Sorry. No, <laughs> no problem. No problem. Well, let's have a look. Just going to open up one subsection here. Because yeah. I was looking at requests for an aid, but that's when... That's when, uh, oh yes, request foreign aid is where you basically request foreign aid for resource points, but they don't stack up with your XP at the end of the round. You could do maybe like a focused attention. I'm about to try and give somebody else, you know, a bonus on a, another check during the kingdom turn. Yeah, focus. So like we make a roll on a later phase. Yeah, fo okay. yeah, focused attention is essentially the aid action in kingdom mode. Right. Uh, I'd assumed that I was the last one. Um, uh, for leadership, but we still got to do like the uh, the region and civic and army. Yes, it it does okay. it does go into the other phases. Okay. Right. So you set aside time to focus attention on aiding another leader in an activity. Choose another leader and a kingdom skill, then attempt a DC 20 check. It's DC 15 now. I'm ruling that with the remastered rules for eight. On a success, you grant the leader a plus two circumstance bonus. Yeah, last time what we did was, oh, there should have been a check, but you know what? I'm going to hand wave it. It's been a while since we played last, so I'm going to wave the check for now. So essentially, Andon is going to give eight. Let's have a look. Let's see. Uh, you grant the leader a plus two bonus to check the skill pride of the leader attempts the skill check during the same kingdom turn. The cooperative leader kingdom beat increases the efficiency of this activity. So it doesn't say here you have to, oh no, choose another leader. So who do you particularly think would uh, use the aid? Does anybody have any ideas when we go into the next phase 
which is the uh, region activities. Uh, I was probably going to start with established work sites so we can start getting stone and things like that because we've only got collectively between us only have three things we can choose from. That is correct. The next mm -hmm. the next phrase is only three activities between all three of you. Yeah, we are going to need like stone and stuff to start building because we yeah, need but we also need more. Do we need food this turn, or do we, we just? Have, we have enough to survive into the next turn because our consumption is two, and we got the two food. Yeah. But we're gonna use it, and then we're gonna need more food next yeah, round. We don't have a way to generate it. Okay, so if we're gonna try and establish a work site, I guess the other ones are gonna be claiming a hex and then establishing farmland. Farmland. I don't know if we can claim a hex yet. I think we had to be at like a certain level, like in the uh, the town first. Like the town had to reach a certain level. Didn't be able to claim a hex last time. You have you uh, okay. requirements for claiming a hex. You have reckoned you have reckoned uh, reckoned toy uh, reconnoitered the hex to be claimed during exploration. Basically, I'm oh, okay. yeah, because I'm hand waving uh, reconnoitering during when you are moving throughout the map. I'm saying you're doing it at the same time or your agents are doing it because I just feel that would slow up the speed of our game. So let's see. This hex must be adjudicated to at least one hex that's already a part of your kingdom. And I believe the hex next to the Stone Farm Watchtower is currently claimed. It is. Yes, yeah. it's got a red lap. It's got a red outline. So you do have that hex claim that is a part of regrowth. Oh, I don't Can see we see the I don't see it right now. Well, right, neither do I. Uh, right. Uh, let's see. I believe this is also in the play of view. Go to token controls. It's the icon in the top left-hand corner. And I believe there is a toggle hex control uh, control oh, icon. Oh, oh man. Look, Look that, that makes life so much oh, easier. Oh, yeah. It's so yeah. It shows the terrain see. type and everything. Oh. oh. Uh -huh. Magic. Now we're talking about skill issues. <laughs> In fairness, it's not uh, it's not Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree hard, but yeah, skill issues. Right. So, in all seriousness, though, joking aside, we are on to the next phase, which is the region activities. Nice and simple. Only three of these per the party. So, all right, I'm going to um, assist. Uh, I'm going to assist Calvin on an engineering skill check. Right. Okie dokie. So roll us then a engineering assist roll. Please, Dave. Okay. Oh. Unfortunately, that's only a not you. Uh, failure, but not a critical one. So no bonuses, but no negatives. So, in that case, then, for the region activity, shall we start with you, Greg? Uh, what was it you were looking to do? Uh, no, I think this one's a collective, if we're all good for establishing work. Oh, yeah. Sites. yeah. Brain, mm -hmm. engage. It's more to down to what do you think we need? Because we can only select one type of resource. Well, what do we want to build first? I guess is a question in, like, in our town, because then we can look at what... Where is the buildings again? You had it up last time, didn't you, Jack? Or did you have to look that? Uh, it was. It's somewhere. It's in like the settlement rules. However, those were. Everything is everywhere, all over the place, all at once. Settlement. Uh. So kingdom, then somewhere there was the settlement. Yeah, it's in rules. the appendices. So many things. I know. So much stuff. Um, we could we could look at getting a barracks. We've already got the one stone. Um, we could get a couple of lumber. Yes, your kingdom size is currently two, so that means you essentially have two squares of four spaces each, so eight spaces in total. So you have. Because you have a town hall already for building on the Stag Lord's Fort. So one size of four already has two squares claimed. So there's two left in there. 
which is regrowth and technically you've got yeah so in regrowth you've got two squares left and technically at the river crossing and the stone farm watchtower you have four squares left so you do have sites you do have size to build yeah it looks like there's probably an order in which to do this isn't there yeah it's looking at structure once but they've they've just done it alphabetically instead of mm. Brewery. Yeah, I want a brewery. The brewery would be good. Uh, a cemetery wouldn't be too bad either. Because it can reduce unrest. Uh... So what's this? Established settlement? Wait, uh, at... It's structures. Yeah. Structures? It's in appendices uh to be oh right i was looking at the region yeah. activities and what region activity that would be in order to build it's established salesman uh yeah we were we were looking at what we would like to build to backtrack to the things that we're going to try and establish gotcha yeah activities. yeah exactly that makes a lot of sense just wish they put this in order <laughs> I uh, know, because you just well, gotta kind of scroll down. Like, I mean, houses are a structure as well. Um, so what? Give as much. What I will propose in that case is, if we have the one stone, yeah, we can look at maybe making that cemetery while we invest in getting some lumber camps up because that seems like the most important for um because it's a lot of this. the low tiers. yeah yeah i see what you're getting is there anything else jumping off to people uh i'm kind of scrolling through like i said you gotta find on the level ones yeah tenements are structure zero a granary. Establish the thing. Mm. The Have you seen the granary? It's not bad if we want to start stockpiling food. Yeah, I make food first though. Yeah, yeah, I don't know how much food commodity we have. I think uh, we four. We have maximum four. It would boost us to five. And there are a lot of structures. Yep. I reckon we probably want to start making tenements, and those are one RP and one lumber. Uh, I don't know. Tenements aren't great though, because they give you plus one to ruin. And you have no lumber right now, just stone and food. No, but okay, now houses. Like, it'd be better if we just build a house straight up, which is three RP and one lumber. Okay. Because uh, the tenements upgrade to a house anyway, and that's a structure one, so we can build those. Alright. Well, it looks yeah. like all of we're choosing are going to mean that establishing a lumber work camp is... Yeah. Yeah, that's the way. The oh, you got a luxury. What would you get a luxury? Oh, weird. Because uh, I've been trading. I've been... The first time I did, I got the luxury so that when we come back round to... Uh, the beginning of the next turn, we have things to begin to trade to get other things. Gotcha. All right, then. So, sounds like a plan is formulating here. Uh, what's the first region activity? I guess we're going to try and build that camp, right? Yeah. Establish a work site. All right. So, if someone would like to bring that up into the game chat. Uh... Oh, I'll bring it up. Why not? Oh, uh, I've got you. I've, <laughs> like, um, it's, uh, like, I should just nominate someone. If not, I'll do it. Right. So, establish a work site and hire a crew of workers to travel to a hex that contains lumber or or stone to be harvested. Spend RP as determined by the hex's most inhospitable terrain. See the building on rough terrain sidebar, then tempt a basic engineering check. Lumber camps can be established in any hex that contains a single amount of forest terrain, mines, and quarries. Now we don't have a forest. <laughs> uh. 
I guess we establish farmlands then. Yeah. Farmlands would be nice anyway, because that'll give us some food. Yeah. All right then, I'll bring up the established farmland action. So, like this, if we make food, then that leaves us our, more RP. Then instead of spending on food, we can spend on wood or stone or whatever we want anyway. So, yeah. yep. plains or hills are predominant in this terrain feature in the hex. The hex is in the influence of one of your settlements. You plant crops and establish livestock in permanent farms, ranches, and other growing operations to create farmland. You're attempting to establish farmland in a hex that uh, predominantly uh, plains. You must spend one RP. And the check is against your control DC. If you're targeting a hex that is predominantly hills, you must spend two RP, and the check is con is your control DC plus five. So let's have a look. Which hex would you think about for that? Well, I have one, so yeah. I mean, you got hills. Yeah, it's uh. Here's the thing. Yeah, here's the thing. Uh, this is is it a hilly region? It is. Yes, yeah, it's hills. Okay, so you'll have to spend, if you're targeting a hex that is predominantly hills, you must spend two RP and the check is against your control DC plus five. That would make this DC 19. We have no, no, chosen I a great location. I do have an interesting Game Master question though. Yes. Could we perhaps persuade the Game Master to give us a bonus, maybe like a plus two or something, since there are already ruins of like an old farming establishment there that we can make use of? Well, I thought you could do. Well, I thought you could do the farmland on the regrowth hex. Oh, that's hills. That's still hills. That's still hills. Uh, yeah, well, I think the regrowth hex is where the town is anyway. I don't know if you can build it on the same hex as the town. Well, you do have a fame point as well. Um, you know what? I'm going to be plain about this, even though it technically says hills. A part of me, as a game master and even as a player, wants to get this ball on kingdom mode rolling so to speak so what i'm going to rule with this and just for this time only because the way i look at it is you can target the farmlands right down here right at the river bend where it is flat you've got a water source so for this time and for this time only i will rule the one RP spend and the regular control DC to beat. Okay, so I'm thinking about this in terms of terms of like the design of the campaign. They give you this specific spot. They expect you to make food. Mm -hmm. And everything around you is hills, so you yeah. won't succeed. No. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's kind of a weird choice, isn't it? Apparently, exactly. I do not. I do not know if this is true or not. So this is Wikipedia citation style needed. But I did hear that the Kingdom Turn was not playtested. Oh yeah, but we could go two hexes to the east to get our first planes. Yeah, I believe it right now because, like, like Dave was saying, and very strange design choice and, yeah and that single plains tile is surrounded by more hills <laughs> run to the hills right um well i'll tell you what let's see what's the check against your control dc you must spend one rp in the check plains or hills in the hex what's the check though like your control DC is that like it's up in the top left hand corner it's 14 okay so uh, but what's like, the it might be which... agriculture yeah I'd say agriculture yeah it, it's farming so yeah it's definitely agriculture so you oh it didn't say the, the, the oh it didn't say the skill for it oh weird yeah so I'll tell you what uh I'll, let's have a volunteer Andon is the uh Andon is the druid the farmer so Dave, you spent one RP, DC 14, plus seven in agriculture. Give us that roll, please. Oh, wait, I thought we were going to have uh, Kelvin do it because we gave Kelvin the bonus. He didn't get the bonus. Oh, he, that's right. Yep. yep. Hey, so Let's go. There is a fame point in the bank if you need it. It's farming time. Oh, that's a 25. That's a crit. 
That's a critical success. You s establish two Adjudica farmland hexes instead of one. If your target hex was a hill hex, the additional hex may be a hills hex or a plains hex. Otherwise, the additional hex must be a plains hex. If no appropriate hex is available, so many hexes in this paragraph, treat this result as a regular success instead. So from what I understand of that, you can put up a farmland in both the river crossing region and in regrowth. Yep. Nice. Let's do it. Okay. It's farming so time. We got a whole farm. I'm so happy I have farming lore. Balric is having a good time. Here we go. It's uh, Regrowth Valley. Regrowth Valley. So, how do I add a farm? So, farmland. Uh, uh, let's have a look. Show to players. Yes. So, I'll add that to that hex. We don't have to name the. We don't have to name the farm just yet. <laughs> farm two. And Regrowth also has. Uh, oh wait, wait, wait. That's that's wrong. New stone farm. Stone Farm, the sequel. Rock Farm and Pebble Farm. Okay. So, you have farmland here in Regrowth itself, and you have farmland here at the River Crossing. So, does farmland produce food for you then? Do, do, do we have to harvest crops? I don't like know how that works yet. Uh, I'm assuming that probably happens in like one of the early phases of the kingdom turn. Let's have a look. Attempt a basic DC 14 agriculture check to forage for wild edibles or gather excess crops from farms. So yes, and there is nothing that says that you can't make this check now. Nope. Um, I think so. Um and we start claiming crop, um, hexes so we can get towards some forests. Yeah, we should. We can get forest uh, directly west of us. Are farms a type of work site? A farms oh, a type of work site? Can't see. Oh what... no! Look here, you go. Okay, here's what farms do. Uh, whenever you pay consumption, your kingdom's consumption equals your settlement consumption total. Plus your army consumption total, but minus farmland hexes influenced by settlement. So, we so, have no so we have a minus two to consumption because we have two farm hexes. Nice. So We're self sufficient. That's a, that's well, that's a good start. Okay, it's coming together. It's, it's coming together. It's all coming together. Lexi, <laughs> do you have any ideas for today during this phase? Uh no, sorry. My I'm mostly just uh making i'm and, vaguely making sure nothing objectionable is happening because my head is like i have a headache from this morning resurfacing all of a sudden uh no worries then no worries then that's mm. absolutely cool uh are you cool with us continuing yeah no keep going i'm still all right so you're still yeah you're still here that's absolutely cool uh yeah if you have anything to pitch and ship in just give us a shout then it's all great okay so you have essentially with your two hexes made regrowth self-sufficient i've got an idea here if you want me to pitch one mm -hmm. go for it maybe maybe claim another hex which would make your consumption one for the next turn but you do have two food so you could pay for it mm -hmm. or yeah, we or you could claim a hex and then for your third action you could either build something else or you could actually then go for the gather food to make sure there is definitely food in the bank. Yeah. I don't think we can gather the one from uh, west of Regrowth because we don't technically own that. Um, no. No, we got to build up into the green belt. Yeah. Yeah, so... Wait, wait, you're saying we can't... Um, no, we don't this? own Tuskwater. We have to go, we have to build it inside Greenbelt. Yeah, our charter doesn't include that area. Oh, yeah, yeah. then it's perfect, right? Then how do you ch then how do you claim the other areas? Because I f doesn't your charter give you the right to expansion? It's just this first land is definitely yours. 
Oh, sorry. I, see I, know, I just remember our charter basically said we're allowed to establish between like the rivers and basically, basically the Greenbelt region. Then, so we've got these ones, even though our main base is in the yes. one. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. The, the fact, yeah, taking over the Stag Lord's Fort, which is also the canonical uh, location of uh, where the kingdom is established in Galerion lore, that's kind of like an exception to the rule. So the first first hex is an exception to you. The rule yeah. you're introducing using that hex. Well, it, 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 really put the thought into this one. It's well, that was it in the oh, original. Well, that was it in the original Kingmaker as well, from what I understand. If anybody knows different and played the one in Kingmaker, comments down below. Please let me know. Um, but yeah, it's. Um, I think it kind of makes sense. It is actually a central location overlooking the rest of the Green Belt. So it's a nice area, if you think about it, where you can spread out from, up and out. Yeah. Yep. But that's just my take on it anyway. So... Because yeah, I'm assuming we got to get permission to spread in Tuskwater. Otherwise, we'd want to even go further south, because at some point we wanted to take over Candlemere so we can post guards and stuff there. Yes, yeah. you did. Um, but I, we don't have the permission to do that yet. I will, look in, I will look into that, and I will get back to you on that one. But for now, as we're getting these kingdom terms down to begin with, let's stay in the old. Let's definitely stay in the green belt then. So, do you want to do you want to claim a hex then to try and get to the woods? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Because yeah. we need to start getting that done. All right then, let's bring up claim hex. I'll bring it up. So, you can use exploration, intrigue, magic, or wilderness. I think wilderness is our best one. Okay. So do you spend any RP for it? One. So you spend another RP, and I'm going to nominate our Yarl. 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 Make the roll, Yarl. 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 Uno momento. Uh, and we're uh, claiming a hex, right? Yes. Yep. Yeah, there's a button in the Did you work in a wilderness check? Don't have any bonuses. Yo, yo. Do we want to get our weapon for the round on that? Yes, please. Let's, yep. let's fame it. Fame boy. Fame. I'm going to live forever. I'm going to learn to claim a hex. Oh, there we go. Out of 23. That was almost a crit. Yeah, that was almost a crit, but that is a success of the regular variety. So you claim the hex and add it to your territory, increasing your kingdom size by uno one. So this hex is clay. This hex is claimed. In the name of regrowth, right. this hex is claimed. Now, I'm trying to remember, does that increase? No. So size will be now free. Okay, you've got one activity left. Do we want to do something with that hex we just claimed? Yeah. Can we what can we do? Establish. <laughs> well, it's still hills. Yeah. We could yeah. take a crack at like another farm if you wanted to, or is there a type of work site that we can There's build in the hills? A much more quarry. Work in hills. Quarry would give us stone. That'd be good. We need that to build. I am into that. Rock and stone. Yeah. So you want to establish a work site? Yeah. Yeah. Please. All right. So this will be another engineering check. Let's have a look. You hire spend RP as the. Let's see. I can't remember how many RP you spend. Uh, I think it's a roll, isn't it? Determined by the hex's most inhospitable terrain. Okay. There's a slide bar somewhere. Okay, so the terrain is hills. So the side bar is page 519. That that helps. Oh, wow. That, no, helps. <laughs> that helps on a boundary module. Uh, let's see. You're building on rough terrain. Lovely. It's rough terrain, so here's what I'm going to rule then. DC 16. And that's what I'm sticking with. Oh, no, wait. It's calculated it here. DC 14 engineering. 
Well, the question I think was how much RP. Oh, well, how, was it based how, on the most hospitable terrain to tell us how much RP we have to spend for it? Uh, let's so see. Staying on hills, how much uh, RP is it supposed to cost? Let's see. I forbid they include a, a link to the, the answer in the post. It would have helped, wouldn't it? Rough yeah. terrain sidebar on page 519. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I reckon it's our features, maybe? No, it's like Sonic Hill and my clothes. Yeah, I found that one as well. Just... Uh. Do I have? Hold on a second. Oh nuts! I was I was I was like looking for the. I was wondering if I had the PDF on my phone. I've got the player's guide, but I don't think that will have page five nineteen on it. No, it won't. Don't have. Da, 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 da. And hey, for those joining us. We're glad we're showing you this because you're seeing the ups and downs of the kingdom mode. Yep. Sorry, it's not a more exciting watch, but sometimes when you work out these modes, they're not always the most exciting, but it's honest. And I think that is actually, well, I think that actually holds great value. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, let's see. Hey, I'm checking out spot the map next plan. Okay, here we go. You got um, it. I found it on uh you know, on the interwebs, not in the actual module. Yeah. Uh but according to this, hills should be two RP. Makes sense. That does Plains are one, hills are two, forest are four, swamp is eight, and mountains are twelve. Yeah, because when I was thinking about the DC, I was like thinking plus two for hills. So I figured it would be a similar sort of math. So do you want to spend two RP to try and establish a quarry? Yes, please. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. We need experience at the end of the round. We want we want goodies. Well, All right. We need goodies. All right. <laughs> All right, then. Greg, you are the chosen one. Roll that engineering check. That's so much pressure. I'm not in. Hey, you got it. <laughs> 21. You have a quarry. Woo. Oh my god, look at this. In one month, we've made two farmlands, a quarry, and expanded our domain. We're almost completely self-sufficient when it comes to food. We have no unrest. Oh, we're, we're the masters of kingdom term. Yeah. <laughs> we're, that, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. much better. Round what could one, possibly go wrong? Round you two better. Have trade routes. Hmm. How do we use trade firms? Oh, they came up at the start of the round, didn't they? Didn't we like roll something for them? Uh, I, early in the I don't phase? remember. I it think was... we did. I think at the start of the kingdom phase, we got to use them. Okay. Yeah, there's a managed trade agreement ability there at the beginning. Okay, so let's have a look. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Cool. So there's a quarry in there. You have a quarry. Uh, that should be added to that hex. Uh, wasn't that all three you just did? Yeah, so we're just, I'm just looking yes. at the managed trade agreements because I couldn't remember what that was. Oh yeah, that's at the that's it, yeah. yeah, that's at the start in the commerce phase, which is basically your buffs phase, where you potentially. I'm, uh, I'm not seeing the quarry on that hex yet. Um, oh, hold on. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Boom. How about now? Yay. Yay! So it does. That gives us. You have a you have two farms and a quarry. Mm. Oh, that's all. We should have assumption of one now, basically. Yes, so I've I'll got that. Wonderful. Oh, let's put the salmon plus two. Okay, mate, the consumption doesn't get added until the next turn. Right, no problem. No. Cool. Right. Awesome. So the next phase is actually 
the civic activities phase. So let's click that, let's click that tab. Civic activities, uh, you have one civic activity for each of the kingdom's settlements. Uh, so you only have one because you only have the main regrowth. You can either build a structure or demolish something. Let's demolish the town hall. We, know. Well, we, we need supplies. One. We do have one stone. So I think we can build like a cemetery or something with that, right? Yeah. If we want to do. It, it helps decrease um, unrest in case of dangerous situations. Right. So you want well, to try and... We're going to stall the land. That's not a problem. I know, right? Uh, what was it? Uh, reduce unrest gained from dangerous... Any dangerous settlement events. Yes, kingdom events. That's, that sounds pretty good to me. Yeah. All right. So I'll click on build structure here. Let's see. You attempt to build a structure in the settlement that's granting the civic activity. You may choose any structure, so you're going for a cemetery. Oh, we can't do it. How come? We don't have the RP. Oh, oh well. Next turn. We'll have more stone. Well, yeah. you've made good progress this turn, so maybe, yeah. yes, yeah, skip the civic phase activity this turn? Yeah, I'm not yeah. cool with that, because, yeah, we don't have the RP, but that's fine. We got so much done. We can focus more on that once we have some materials. Okay, so, uh, next next turn is army activities, which is not applicable right now. Don't have an army, you're not at war. And I believe it's now time for the event phase. So, event phase affects the entire kingdom, single hexes, or a settlement. Some are harmful, some are beneficial. Certain events continue for multiple turns and only come to an end once they've been properly handled by the PCs or their kingdom. Let's have a look. So, where was that? I'm just looking through that on the character sheet as well. Uh, let's see, regrowth, village. Well, it says here the flat checks DC 16. Attempt a DC 16 flat check on the success, a random kingdom event returns. If no random event occurs, the DC for this check in the next kingdom turn is reduced by five. Once an event happens, because didn't didn't a didn't a first turn we missed an event, so doesn't that flat check now go down to eleven? Yeah, that's what they're saying. I think is there every it is. Time we don't get an event, it I changes. I found it. I found it. It's in random event. It's now DC eleven. So I will roll that DC eleven flat check. Well, uh -huh. Uh -huh. 10. Uh -huh. So, no event happens. So, the next time, the DC will be 6. Yay! Yeah. Can we okay. see a roll of 5? Okay. So, what we do now is we deal with Kingdom XP. So, if a kingdom experienced a random event, which it hasn't, it receives 30 XP. In addition, any RP that remains unspent is now converted to kingdom XP on a one-to-one -one ratio to a maximum of 120 XP per kingdom turn. We get three XP? That doesn't seem right. That doesn't what? sound right. Three XP? That never done sound right. We didn't, because we got more than that the first time. We got a lot more than that the first time. Yeah, it yeah. was. I, I thought it was 120 XP per kingdom point. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait. I think it's meant to be 30 XP per kingdom point. Up we to... got a bonus for our first one, I think. Yes. Because you completed a oh. basically an achievement. On a one to one ratio. What? Oh, bloody hells. I've just say I've just seen the reference for RP for uh, resource points, um, resource points costs. It's right at the bottom, and it's hidden for players. Oh, yeah, oh. makes sense. Right, I'm gonna put that to the top next time. Yeah. Right, okay, okay. So, oh, hey, uh, each time a kingdom claims a hex, it earns 10 uh, kingdom experience. 10 kingdom experience. So, let's apply that to begin with then. So, 
you gained 20 kingdom experience then from claiming two hexes. Ah, uh, right. That hasn't worked. Let's try that. No. Ah, uh, right. Okay, try to get clever for my own good. Okay. There's also a kingdom milestone uh, XP table that was hidden in, under behind the link. Have you hit any of those uh, XP? Have you hit any of them? I don't. I don't know. Did, is the Stag Lords for the landmark? Oh, we would have done that. Okay. Yeah. yeah so it's uh, you go under step three, apply Kingdom XP, then you click the gaining Kingdom XP button. Gaining Kingdom. Okay. I'll, okay. I'll, I'll click this and see if it works. Yeah. So we claimed our first landmark that's 40 experience right and then claiming first refuge is 40 experience establishing first village is 40 kingdom size of 10 is 40. established Ex diplomatic relations should be 60. expand a village into your first town is 60. all eight leadership roles were assigned was actually 60 points yeah there's actually some experience we should have here so hold on you've definitely established diplomatic relations because you've made trade agreements, correct? Yes. I think. Diplomatic. Okay. Yeah, I've got it here. Diplomatic arranged relations with the soot scale cobalt. So I don't know if we applied it last time. So I'm going to say fluff it. I'll watch it back later. That's going to be 60 XP. So you're up to three, so you're up to 350. Is there any others? Do you have any landmarks left yet? I think that was rolled into our initial points, wasn't it? Into his land. I don't think you got a landmark yet. Oh. Helps as a landmark. It, it's on the terrain. Uh, for example, uh, the Temple of the Elk is a landmark. I believe. Oh no, it's a refuge and a shrine. But, uh, yes, uh, it will. each hex would have underneath it if it's got a landmark. It is supposed to be only one experience per resource point. You're kidding. Nope. I think that's why you get experience for, like, claiming hexes and things like that. You're supposed to be doing things. Rapid expansion. Yeah, yeah you're basically supposed to be using them. You don't get much for wasted points. Oh no, the temple of the uh the temple of the oh no, it's landmarks, 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 landmarks. Oh wait a minute, wait a minute, where's the uh old sycamore? No, it says Oh that's the landmark, it's got a tag, right. Right, the old sycamore is the old sycamore is a landmark. Yeah, you don't uh Oh Oh Staglor's Fort is a landmark. Yeah, I was gonna ask if maybe that was one. I don't recall this claim adding that. No, we. I didn't know this table existed at all until like just now. Uh, so sorry, I'm adding that. So that's uh, that's three hundred and ninety. Yeah. So this is what we're supposed to be doing to try and level is trying to check off things on this table. Right. And then claiming hexes, doing events. Because surplus XP uh, RP isn't worth very much. Right. Okie dokie. Well, I'm keeping the RP that the experience points that we earn from RP. That's, I'm not retconning that because the, oh, the milestones are only earned once, so it doesn't matter how many diplomatic relations you made. It's only six, just for the first one. And it's the king. It's actually the kingdom events that give 30 XP, and then stuff that actually happens in the game, which I've been applying. So don't, don't worry. I'm not bugging you out of XP. Wow, uh, and it's supposed to be a thousand to level up in the normal. That's yeah. insane. That's very slow progression. Milestone, CD unit table, hex claim XP, ten hex. Yeah, because I know that I know a few things got just adjusted. Like I think events were boosted from fifteen to thirty. Mm -hmm. Because especially if the milestones are going to be here, you know, with the milestones we could be bloody here. Hmm. Well, you're only supposed to get each milestone once, so it's not going to add up 
useful a lot in the long run. So I see why a lot of I see why a lot of tables have actually homebrewed it then. That they actually start their kingdoms at player characters level. Because yeah, here's that, or just finding ways to get experience faster would be fine too. Yeah. It's like it takes a lot. I'm gonna make a call for today. I'm gonna boost that 10 hex claim XP up to 30 apiece. So I'm gonna give you another 40. So I'm gonna uh, say so you're at 430 now. Not one, two, three, yeah, 430. Or else we're gonna be here till Christmas. Okay. Yeah, I think um Let's see. How often in the original campaign are they expecting you to be doing a kingdom turn? I think how it's supposed to how it's supposed to go is uh in terms of I think the span of the game, the time scale of the game, it's supposed to be once a month in game because as I mentioned before, you establish your orders and then you head on out. But I think a kingdom turn, especially looking at this progression, and if people know more, feel free to comment below. Maybe it's supposed to be a case of you play a session, and then after that, you do a kingdom turn for like the last hour. Because Kinda weird. It's yeah. if they really didn't play test it, they may have just not had any idea what the rhythm of it's supposed to be. Yeah, in my head, I'm just trying to figure out, like, in the universe of Mathfinder, 30 experience per event, which doesn't even happen every kingdom turn, needing a eight, we're in a fast track, needing 800 experience to level up. That is a lot of kingdom turns. Yeah, we're never going to build anything at this rate. <laughs> yeah, like, but why those kind of bonkers from this one? <laughs> yeah, it's, hmm. It's I'm gonna have to do on this one a little bit. Might need to do some tweaking. Yeah, tweaking. Might need to design the system with numbers than me. <laughs> it's you know, I think this is why also at the same time what, what they've done is is I don't know if this was in the first edition version as well, but there's kind of like kingdom milestones in game as well. So for example, I don't mean mechanical milestones for kingdom turn. I mean if you don't want to do kingdom turns it's like once you get to this part of the story your settlement grows to this size this gets added this gets added this gets added a village here etc 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 so as the story goes on your kingdom grows with the story it's kind of like a level up mm -hmm. markers but you know yeah. just kingdom that expansion like it kind of makes the whole thing irrelevant though if it just magically upgrades at certain points in the story yeah it's i i can i can see why they've done it because it's for people who wouldn't find this sort of thing interesting uh i get it i get it you just want to play the game and um you know city, city skylines isn't your thing basically um so hmm yeah the um the little blinky blonks on this backing track remind me of old school RuneScape, but maybe that's just because I got it on my mind because we'll be talking about it in the break. There you go. Man, RuneScape. Well, my recommendation would be to, uh, you know, just wrap up this turn for now and then we kind of chew on if we want to adjust the progression. Yeah, I would say so. So, we're nearly done anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a homebrew ruling for today. Uh, your resource points they're going to be worth 30 a pop because you've only got three left so mm -hmm. that's 90 experience so you go up to 520 which seems like more of a track that sort of makes sense you know it does in yeah. like 30 an rp point adds up to a decent amount of experience per round so yeah it's um yeah, that's going to conclude today's kingdom turn, everybody. Definitely some things to chew on as we consider the kingdom mode. 
um, yeah, it's, um, this has been an interesting one today. I think that's fair to say. It feels like just like a hodgepodge of different rules not quite fleshed out. Yeah, that's, that's okay. I'm sure a lot of people listen to this just for, like, general yapping. So, yeah. <laughs> I, think, well, I think there's still content here, even if the actual content that we're doing content on well, to be isn't honest, quite well, content. Well, to be honest with you, um, for, for the channel alone, you know, Galtel's at time of recording is not a big channel, and compared to others out there, we're blown out the water, but there seems to be some love for the kingdom terms out there and looking online i don't actually see a lot of content that involves the kingdom terms actually um i keep on bringing up cobalt dm every now and then his kingmaker campaign to me was inspirational they did kingdom terms for a while and then they called it a day mm -hmm. uh, because they just wanted to concentrate on their adventure and yeah it's definitely an interesting one so if any of you out there legitimately know something we're either missing or if you've got any more clarification, be kind, be respectful and be constructive. Leave a comment below and give us a shout. Just let us know if there's something we're missing here because, yeah, this has been interesting. But this one today was definitely a... It was a thing. Yeah, we made some some farms and a quarry we just don't quite know how much we were rewarded for that past the sense of satisfaction which i definitely had oh yeah once, once we got there oh, there was some cool. we got them. We yeah, got them yeah. once we got there there was some nice expansion but it was getting there yeah it was it was it was getting there and maybe this is something that will get easier as the kingdom terms go on but we'll just have to see so that's it for today for those joining us thank you once again for joining us we appreciate it and um yeah thank you for the love that has been so far as uh, shown so far to the kingdom turns it's it's nice it's nice and hopefully listening in it's a chill experience because hmm, i do i, I kind of like the chill especially after a story session so when the kingdom turn returns <laughs> We are going to go on to turn three and we're going to see how we can potentially expand it a bit more. And, uh, well, yeah, we'll play with it some more and we see what we think. Until next time, folks, on behalf of all of us, you take care of yourselves out there and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.